Okay, guys, so we have something very interesting going on. It looks like we have a potential juror member speaking out. Uh, obviously, this is not totally confirmed, but if it's who I think it is, this is the guy that was in the second row all the way to the, um, the right uh, that was sitting next to the... Um, the guy who took copious notes, I think this is the Asian man that wore the face mask, um, but I'm not 100% sure. So uh, I guess he put out a TikTok video. Um, he still wants to remain anonymous, but I think it's interesting to hear from a member of the jury. What do you all think about this? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Let's go ahead and look at it. Um. So he's, it's uh, Seeking Infinite on TikTok. It says, my thoughts on the trial. Leave comments if you have any questions about it. So let's listen to what he has to say. So today was my last day of being a juror on the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial. And I wish to remain anonymous, but I thought I'd give some insight on my thoughts about the trial. Um, I don't follow pop culture too much, so I haven't really been... A fan of Johnny Depp or Amber Heard so I feel I was able to be pretty unbiased about the whole thing but from the very beginning when Amber Heard was testifying uh, everything just seemed so off with how she kept making eye contact with me and it made me extremely uncomfortable to where I would no longer look over at her when she was giving her answers um, I would just listen intently and everything she was saying came off like bullshit and I wasn't following anything on TikTok during the whole trial and I was scrolling through after the trial and uh blows my mind on how every single person seemed to be commenting on how weird it was so <laughs> yeah uh good news for Johnny Depp um that's that was my gut feeling after all the information in the trial um but Amber Heard what a what a crazy woman so today was yes. my last day of being exactly what a crazy woman. I never understood why people go. So okay, today so was my last day of being. Let's look at the comments here. On the um, I never understood. No. Death. Yes, my mortal companion. What the heck is that? You gotta pick up. This has worked themselves to death. Yeah, I don't label. Why is this happening? I hate TikTok. I don't know how it works. So today, but today but anyways, was my last day of being a juror. All right, on how do the I Amber like Heard Johnny Depp trial? And I wish to remain. All right, so let's turn off the sound. It says, started an Instagram where I'll post my thoughts and pictures. I'm going to keep it spiritual and mindfulness based. So it will be seeking underscore infinite 01. I guess if people want to um, follow this person, uh, this juror, or potential juror on Instagram, uh, how do you feel about Elaine going on TV on live TV, basically accusing all you jurors of not following the rules. Let's see if he replied. Um, hmm. She seemed to just be pulling stories out of the air at that point. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that is a very good point. Oh my goodness. That's so funny. Um, he says the world is a better uh, place with curiosity and being speculative. Being speculative about information is one of the best things about science. Very good point. Um, I thought that was an interesting answer. Are you, you're juror number seven, aren't you? Um, I don't think he responded to that, but he says, I didn't realize he made all those weird faces until after seeing a video, but he was definitely an interesting person. Dr. Smeagol. Dr. Spiegel. <laughs> oh my goodness. This person asks, how did you feel with the pledge versus donated? 100% could not admit she was wrong in anything. That is what sealed it for me. Camille did a great job. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I thought that was very interesting. Why 10 mil, not 50? Unrealistic amount and not all the jurors agreed on amounts had a fa uh, found a happy medium. Well, I think that that's what a lot of us were saying um, as far as like the numbers and why Amber got 2 million. Um, you know, it says interesting. I was wondering if the jurors would be able to pick up on her without TikTok analysis. LOL, good work. He says 100%. Um, 
Are you a Johnny Depp fan now? <laughs> I don't know if you replied to that. Um, let's see if there's any other replies here. Um, have you seen Elaine Bredehoff's interviews about the trial? He says, I have not. I'll look it up soon. My head is already about to explode from this trial. Gonna need a bit of a break. Haha. -ha. Yes, I would also. Um, six weeks, guys. Six weeks. Just absolutely wild. Um, hmm. Were all the jurors on Johnny's side, or did you guys have to find a compromise? He says found a compromise. I think a lot of people figured that there might have been one holdout, you know, maybe one of the women. Uh, were you surprised to see how much everything blew up on social media over the course of the trial? He says, friends and family had told me, but I stayed off social media as I don't really use it much anyways, and I wanted to be a fair juror. Very interesting, guys. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Um, this person says, were you paid? In Spain, we make the jurors stay in hotels until the trial is over and they can't go to work. He says, I have a great employer who paid the entire time. Well, there you go, guys. There you go. Have a good uh, employer. Can you give any insight as to why you, you found Amber's favor on one statement? P.S. Thank you. It was a compromise. The jury has to be unanimous. I was all in favor of Depp, 100%. Based... That's amazing. Um, did the jury see the bruise kit in the picture where Johnny has ice cream all over his lap? He says, I did not notice that. So that's something that's really interesting. You know, when we're watching this stuff from the outside and you're not a member of the jury, like you're able to go on social media, you're able to kind of review things. And there are so many people out there that are like looking at little things, finding these things and pointing it out, it's sort of like a crowdsourcing, you know, uh, information analysis, I guess, or OSINT, whatever you want to call it. I think that's interesting. Um, hmm. Okay, here's a good question. Did you and the jury think Johnny physically abused her at all? They said, yes, we did, but didn't believe he was the instigator and not to the extent that she abused him. Very, very interesting. I think that that is a good point. Cam Fitz says, was it easy for everyone in the jury to come to that decision or did it take some convincing? LOL, it took... Uh, convincing of one juror. I wonder which juror that was. I have an idea, but I don't want to say. I think it was one of the ladies. Not going to say which one. Just one question. Why giving her that win? Not all the jurors agreed. It was a compromise. Um, I don't think he's going to say which juror didn't agree. I, I don't really think that that would be appropriate. Um... But anyways, um, what were your thoughts when you were initially called for jury duty? Awful, LOL. I served once before when I lived in California, but that was only a two-day trial. Yeah, jury duty is the worst, guys, isn't it? I mean, what a pain in the butt. Let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Um, I don't know if there's anything else that, uh, this person replied to. <laughs> that is so funny. Um, hmm. Need to know. Did anyone else think she was taking bumps on the stand in her chair? Appears so, but just me. He says, I don't think anyone thought anything of it. Okay, let's see if there's anything else he responded to. Hmm. Yeah, I hope she gets the help she needs. Yeah, I think we all hope that she gets the help she needs. I mean, good God. She needs a lot of help, in my opinion. Um, hmm. <sighs> I don't see any other responses here uh, from this guy. So, um, I don't, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. We don't know for sure. 
uh, if this actually is one of the jurors speaking out, but it seems like it is. I mean, it, it doesn't seem to be fake. You know, I guess you can never be 100% sure. If this person went on camera, I would be able to identify him and say, yes, I recognize that person from the jury, but I can understand why they would want to remain anonymous. In fact, I think, um, I think that somebody did, uh, dox them on the chans like somehow took pictures and dox these people which is just absolutely ridiculous that is so rude and so uncalled for and and quite frankly it's dangerous there are crazy people out there you know it's just you never know <laughs> you know better to be safe than sorry i guess all right um i don't really see any more replies here Uh, if anybody else wants to take the time to go through it, I will put the links in the um, in the video description, and you guys can decide if you think this is real or not. Um, we really don't know, you know, but it it just you know it doesn't seem overdone or something like that, you know. And we can go back and listen to the the video again and see if the voices match up. But I think that that's it. I don't see any other questions being asked or answered. Um, hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think of this. You know, is that... Do you think that this is, um, you know, legit? Do you think that this is um, a real juror? You know, let me know. Um, and if anybody you know, has any other information from this person, if they put anything else out and I'm missing it, uh, please let me know that also. I just thought that was very interesting because you kind of wonder like, oh, is the jury seeing the same stuff I'm seeing? You know, are they somehow gonna get it? And um, it's basically like, yeah, you know, they do. And and this was one of the comments I read earlier. I, I don't have the time to go through it now, but you guys can go through all of his responses. He did say that Amber reminded him of his ex and how she used to gaslight. And he said, I trusted my gut. That is very, very interesting because I knew that the jury was a six men and three women. And my thinking was, this can either go one of two ways, right? Like either these guys are going to feel the need to sort of like white knight for her or, or they have had experience with crazy women also and they're going to get it. Like they're going to pick up on the little things that she's doing and they're going to go, oh, I knew somebody like that. You know, um, I think everybody's known somebody Maybe not as crazy as Amber, but everyone's known somebody who is like that, who displays sort of, you know, narcissistic uh, qualities that can lack empathy and expect this sort of special treatment, looks down on everybody, refuses to take, you know, any responsibility for anything that they have done. Uh, and, and it was interesting that this uh, juror, if this is legit, noticed that she just refused to say that she ever did anything wrong in the relationship, which, you know, nobody's perfect. Like, you, there has to be something that you can admit that you did that was wrong. And she was just like, no. And wanted, she basically said, don't believe the police officers. Don't believe all of these witnesses, 10 different people at the, at the least, maybe more, you know, only listen to me. Her own friends contradicted her stories. Um, you know, the, the guy, um, Morgan Knight, um, the guy who owned the, um, the trailers at Hicksville, she told a totally different story than him. She claimed that he was devastated when he saw the state of the trailers and this and that. And he said a very different story than her. And her own friend, Rocky, you know, she claimed that um, that Johnny uh, told Kelly Sue like he would break her arm or something. Or like, do you know how much pressure it takes to break an arm? And like grabbed her and said, you know, that's my woman or something like that. Yeah, her own friend said that that didn't happen. 
It's like, come on, you know, her own friends. So you only believe her. Don't believe your eyes. Don't believe what you're seeing in the in the evidence that was presented, right? Where she claims she had two black eyes, a broken nose, a busted lip, and you look at a picture of her the next day, and there's literally no marks on her face. But you're supposed to believe her instead of your own eyes. That I think is what made this her so um unbelievable and destroyed her credibility. And then the sort of over the top um acting and exaggeration on the stand if you go back and watch her deposition from 2016 uh in her deposition when she's recounting the her you know or, or telling these stories of what she claimed was abuse and of course mind you the stories change over time they become more embellished there are more stories more allegations added but if you go back and watch that when she's talking about it she's not crying she's not uh having like panic attacks you know she's smirking almost as she's telling the stories it's a very so it's like almost like you're watching a different person and i actually think it, it's worth taking the time to sort of go back and show people just how crazy this woman is and you can see the same things in um interviews of her it's it's like she's a different person each time like she's constantly reinventing herself and she constantly does this sort of impressionistic and vague speech that Dr. Curry talked about, where she'll she'll go on and on and on, ramble on and on, but there's nothing of substance being said. She's using flowery language. She's saying weird, vague things, but the, you, you end up like you don't take anything from it. You, there's nothing you can comprehend or understand because it doesn't mean anything. It's like word salad stuff to try to confuse and gaslight people. She's notorious for that. Um, so I encourage people, go back and watch interviews of her from 2008, 2010, 2012, and just watch how she changes each time. And it really is scary. It's like a chameleon or something. Like you're watching somebody that doesn't have um, a sense of self, that doesn't have an identity and is constantly changing constantly adopting a different persona for each situation i i suppose but there are times even then where you can see the sort of mask fall and you recognize that like this person is sociopathic um this is an absolute psychopath that we are dealing with uh there's no empathy there she looks dead behind the eyes so it's just really creepy anyways i'm really interested to hear everybody's thoughts on this do you think that this is uh legitimate is this a real juror speaking out um or do you think this is just somebody uh pulling a hoax on us let me know in the comments below also if you haven't done so already make sure that you hit the like button the uh for some reason the algorithms are suppressing these videos they don't the media and i guess the big tech don't want people talking about this they don't want people who disagree with amber being able to have a voice so it really does make a difference if you hit the like button make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and um make sure to share this video